Hello fans of Taming Your Flock and welcome back. I'm here to discuss a rather sad topic. You see Twisty's eye? That, okay, well that eye's fine, but if you look at his other eye next time he turns his head, he has this, like, a bee sting or something that irritated his eye and made it swell. So now he has a stung eye. Or, like, an injured eye. In any case, no matter what happened, it's not good. There it is. Do you see? Here's the eye. Here's the eye. Do you see how it's it's closed? So enables me to get way closer than I've ever been to Toasty before, like without him running, because it sort of gives him a blind spot. So today's video topic is what you do with chickens when they're injured, or in this case, mainly bee stings. I guess what do you do to a chicken when it has a bee sting? And it will be part of our brand new playlist, Chickens When They Are Injured. While we are at it, we've moved the previously mentioned chook spot. Oh gosh! We have to clean the water! That's, that's gross. But we have moved the previously mentioned chook spot over here to the side of our garden. With the new water bucket and dust bathing pits and everything. Anyway. The first step is to give the chicken lots of rest and relaxation. If the chicken is being treated by the fellow flockies, so Toasty's fighting his way to the middle here, but if the chicken is being treated by the fellow members of the flock unkindly because of the injury, then put a stop to it and make sure that the chicken stays safe. Toasty is remaining one in the pecking order with his injury, but such might not happen like uh, it might change based on the other chicken, so be sure to help them in that manner. Plenty of treats are good for them. This is their second handful of seeds. And it'll probably be the last one, too. Don't overfeed them. Toasty has been hanging out in the shade of our lilac tree, which is seen quite a lot in our great flock 5, Toasty's twin. Ever since he got his sting, which we noticed earlier today, we don't really know how long he's had it. And, um, he's been in the shade. He's been keeping cool on hot days like today. And he's also been getting plenty of rest. And just chilling. He took the cutest nap later. He, like, tucked... I mean, earlier, he, like, tucked his head under his wing. And it was adorable. But the important thing is that he's resting in any manner. In the Healthy Hens magazine, if you flip to page 56, at least of this issue, then you'll see these. Natural Remedies for Wellness. This magazine is full of cute little pictures of chickens, but if we flip to the right page. See, right here, na like, looking for natural remedies. Create a DIY first aid kit and use natural methods to keep your flock happy and healthy. This is the homemade salve recipe, which you can, like, you can pause the video right now. And make the homemade salve if you would like. It will be definitely useful in this type of situation. You also want apple cider vinegar. Because it really helps build up chickens' digestive systems. And I think it also strengthens their ability to make quick recoveries. Adding some of it, like adding a tablespoon to every gallon of water for your chicken's water source can do miraculous things for their internals. So keep that in mind. So as for this video, we would like to shout out to Lisa Steele for making this article in the magazine about natural remedies for chickens. It has probably helped many chickens and it will probably help many to come. So really just let your chicken have rest. Let it get its fair share of alone time. If the rest of the flock is picking on it, put a stop to that. And also, use pretty much any remedy you have, like a sort of salve or ointment. That would be very helpful. We also had a huge old question that maybe people have wondered, why did we name Pancake Pancake and why did we name Toasty Toasty? Well, we hatched them both from eggs and we were going to name them both after breakfast foods. And we did that with Pancake. But then we changed Toasties, like he was originally Toast, and then we turned him into Toasty, adding a Y at the end. Because, well, this is a pretty sad story, but, well, here it goes. 
One night, there was a cat in a garage named Scarlet, and she, she didn't have a home, and she had four kittens. But then there was a fire in the garage, and she basically rushed the kittens out of the garage one by one. However, when a cat sees a fire, usually it just sort of stays in the garage and then dashes to safety. But one of those kittens that was saved was named Toasty, and he died of a viral infection a month after the fire. However, Scarlet found a good home and sorted the rest of her kittens. So we named Toasty Toasty rather than just Toast to honor this kitten. So that's the story. Anyway, this video is already like considerably longer than I expected. So we hope you liked our tips. And that'll be all for now from Taming Your Flock. Also, we will try to upload more often. I can understand why people are getting upset when we're like only uploading uh, like every two weeks or something. But anyway, we really will try to upload more often. Anyway, bye-bye from Taming Your Flock. For now.